Hey, 3D Zip Guy here. I've got a bit of a different video for you today. More of a vlog, actually. It's been raining for the past couple of weeks where I'm at, and because of that, we've ended up with a bit of a mold situation in the house. But the sun finally showed up today, so we're taking advantage of it and spending some time outside for a breather before I get back to tackling the problem. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what I've been working on lately. A fully articulated canine figure. As usual, it still uses zip tie joints. This is actually the first time I've ever modeled a dog. Don't ask me what breed it is. I honestly have no clue. I took a lot of creative liberties with the look and proportions. I was more focused on the joints, so I haven't sculpted the finer details yet. So far, it's been surviving the torture test from my product tester really well. Now here's how it looks printed at 185%. This version now includes the sculpted details. I'm particularly proud of the articulated jaw. It worked great on the first try. I did a similar thing with the jaw articulation on the Vermin action figure, which was built using the Zip Guy Alpha 2 body. You can click here or check the description if you want to check that out. Let's pop the head off so we can try out the alternate ones. Oh yeah, they all share the same jaw, so you won't need to print and paint that part multiple times. This head on the left has a more subdued look. And check this out. There are three alternate heads plus accessories, a bone, a frisbee, and a dog bowl. Let me know in the comments, what other accessories would you like to see with this guy? 